beautiful sushi rolls. Welcome back to another episode of CZ Adventure. Today I'm out in the Pacific Coast Range in my 2000 GMC Safari all-wheel drive camper van. I have my dog Alsi with me and we're just going to be doing a little bit of exploring around this campsite as well as prepping some awesome food later and just enjoying a nice day in the outdoors. If you're curious about my 2000 GMC Safari adventure van build, go ahead and watch the entire build series playlist. I have everything broken down step by step on what I did personally in my camper van build. So let's jump right into it. <laughs> this dog loves the water. It's hilarious. Are you having fun, dude? Leave it. Okay. Man, this hail's coming down pretty hard. It's better than rain, though, honestly. You ready? Go get your toy. I think I'm gonna get this thing going for at least the dog. Probably pretty cold out there in that creek. So after throwing the dog's toy around for a little bit, he is still upset about this situation. I put him back into his crate because I think it's time for him to take a nap. He already got to jump in the creek and swim around a little bit and then we threw his toy back and forth. I think it's a good time to start preparing this sushi. It's going to take a little bit of extra time. It's kind of a delicate process, so we don't want to rush things and I wanna complete this task while it's still nice and bright outside. So let's go ahead and get some things out for that. Uh, we brought the sushi rice that we already prepared with some sushi rice vinegar and we have some nori and some cucumber, some sashimi grade ahi tuna from Hawaii. So let's start getting all of our ingredients out. To start off, we have a bamboo roller with some saran wrap around it. You're going to want a sharp knife. We have some awesome high grade ahi tuna, tons of sushi rice, and some cucumber. We have these full sheets of nori also. I like to take my full nori sheet and chop it in half here. Elsie wants to sing to us while we do this. So what I did is just wet my hand and then you're gonna take that sushi rice and kind of squish it down into place. You're gonna wanna cover every inch of that nori. So 
one beautiful piece. Now that we have these thin slices of ahi, I'm just gonna slice them in half. We can set this to the side. We're gonna flip this over. Like that. We're gonna do some cucumber. And some tuna. We're gonna take our bamboo roller, now that we have our fish and our cucumber, and we're gonna just roll this on over. There you have a beautiful sushi roll. Before we cut these, I'd like to put them on this handmade cutting board that I made and have those prepared to be cut after we roll everything. Doing everything in the van is a little bit more challenging. I'm very fortunate that I have a nice big workspace like this or this wouldn't really be possible. So we have our rice covered nori. We flip that right back around, grab some of this fresh cucumber, grab a couple pieces of this ahi. So I like to take my bamboo and kind of press in the center like this. Make sure everything's nice and snug and then push that over. You should have a beautiful sushi roll. Then I like to take it back, put it back in the center and just give it one more shaping, I guess. This isn't my first time making sushi, but I haven't done it too many times. I wouldn't call myself a pro at it or anything, but I definitely have the rolling technique down a little bit. The biggest mistake I made the very first time was I was a little too delicate. You kind of want to press pretty hard on that to get that good round shape. There you have a tuna roll. I've done variations like spicy tuna and things like that. Um, this one's just tuna, cucumber, nori, sushi rice, and then we have some delicious stuff to put on the top and some soy sauce, things like that. Beautiful sushi rolls. It's not really what you think of of as mountain food, but I just thought it'd be really fun to come out here and make some sushi rolls. Pretty unique, different thing to do. Another nice part about this is we didn't have to cook anything necessarily. Besides the rice, we cooked that in a rice cooker at home, which is usually the best way to get a high quality sushi rice. Tomorrow we'll be cooking a nice little egg sandwich and some coffee and things like that. So we did bring along the stove but I thought this would just be a fun thing to do out here. So now here comes the fun part of cutting the sushi rolls and then also topping it and making some beautiful art with it. So we have some sushi sauce. This is kind of like an eel sauce, just like a sweet topping. Uh, we have a little bit of chili garlic sauce. Um, like This is the same brand as the Sriracha brand. It's super good. And we also have some wasabi. And then we have a small container of soy sauce as well. So what we need to do is grab the roll, clean off the knife as best as we can. This is the tricky part, folks. Grab the sushi roll, and then we're gonna cut it into, I believe, about eight pieces. So just kind of go for it, cut this in half, same to this side, and then cut all these pieces into half. And there you go. Your pieces are all ready to go. Then I like to take the bamboo roller one more time and just kind of form it down so we don't lose the shape. And beautiful sushi roll. We'll go ahead and do the same to the rest of these rolls. 
and then we will add some sauces, make it look nice, and as well as add a lot of flavor. So now that we have these gorgeous rolls placed out onto our platter, these two are gonna get the sushi sauce. Little dab of chili garlic down the center of these. Not too bad for being out in the middle of the wilderness. We're opening up a sushi shop right out of the back of our Astro van. It's gonna be hard to get customers. <laughs> if you can see, I'll see he's just passed out. He's got the heater on him. Which one would you rather eat? I think I'll see decided. So I think I'm just gonna hang out in here for the rest of the night. We got some movies to watch on Netflix. We have an entire sushi platter to eat. Mmm. Oh yeah. That's a nice so after watching a couple pretty good movies, it's time to go to bed. Good night. Good morning. Okay. This is what is left of my sushi feast, and it's gonna be breakfast. Just kidding, that's disgusting. We're gonna be making just an egg sandwich, we got some coffee to make, and it's gonna bring us right back to life. That was some good sushi though. The coffee dynamic duo, the jet boil, and the air press. burned through all my propane tanks using the heater last night so I'm attempting to cook everything in this jet boil I have a piece of turkey bacon some green onions and an egg in there right now bread steaming on the top just to freshen it up a little bit it was in the cooler overnight and we got our scrambled eggs in the bottom well, that is going to be it for today's adventure. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to like, comment something down below, and subscribe for more content. We're on track to hitting 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, we'll see you in the next one.